Finally, I'm going to show you the differential, the derivative control part of the, of the overall controller. So, as before, you can select it with Ctrl H, it's the inputs and outputs, right? So, we have, uh, as before, sensor value, set point, the, the gain for this part of the controller, the differential in time, and the past error. As output, we have uh, the differential control, which is this term here, and well, the error. We double click on it, put Ctrl E, and we have the block diagram. As before, these blocks represent this formula here. Okay? So, first we compute the actual error by taking the difference between the sensor value and the set point as before, and then we're going to take the difference from the actual error and the past error. The past error is just the error in the previous loop, the, the error in the, in the previous section of the LEGO Segway. In this way you can see, you can compute the derivative. Uh, so this dx term here can, can, be, can be related to, to the term in parentheses and then you have to divide all this by the differential in time which we also use in a different way in the interval controller of this program then you are going to multiply all these by the gain uh, that relates to, to the derivative term right? to, to say how important is going to uh, is going to be this term in the overall control law so I'm just uh, going to add here that and you use the you use this part of the control, the derivative control, to to try to predict uh, how how your Lego Segway, what your Lego Segway is going to do. So, for example, if your past error uh, was two, and and your current error is one, then the the next error is going to be to be zero in the right. So in this way you can try to compensate this error harder or in a more uh, a smoother way according to how fast the error has has been corrected by by the overall control law